Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your daily love outlook um, where we're going to take a look at work, your home, your what's unexpected, what's unknown and a uh, potential outcome for the day. So I'm going to take you down and we will get started here. Angels. Sagittarius is current. Thank you. All right, your first card out is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In the home position, what does Sagittarius expect today in the home position? Thank you. You have the Alchemist in reverse. What unexpected, it will be coming in. Unexpected. The King of Swords. All right. Your role in all this energy today. Sagittarius, thank you. All right. The Nine of Cups. Your prayers have been heard. Have faith. And your outcome of the the day. What is Sagittarius's overall outcome for today in love? Home and work. Well, look at there. The four of wands. Alright. What you don't know or energy coming towards you is the six of pentacles clarified with the nine of swords and the hair fit. We do have the Queen of Swords underneath that, so it could be dealing with a very strong, strong-willed um, feminine energy that is coming out of a trans, like a transformation, because you have the King of Swords here as well. So um, let's see what we all got going on here. So we'll start with your shared energy. You or somebody that you're dealing with um, has the six of pentacles. So needing to switch up focus, needing to focus on where you want to put your energy, where you want to invest your time, and where you see your future growing. You're no longer putting into something that you don't see growth, that you don't see a future with. You're really being picky and choosy about who you are spending your energy with, who you're investing your time, your love, your emotions. Um, because you're tired of giving and not receiving or tired of just somebody too up, too much up in your space, giving you too much and you're not wanting that. Um, for the majority, however, uh, this is you standing up for what you need in the connection. You spent way too many sleepless nights, way too many tears cried, way too much worry you're feeling um, on where this is going um, within a committed relationship. Um, for some of you, you um, you are in a marriage and you're not sure how to get out. You're not sure how to separate that energy. For some of you, um, it's all it's going to be different for everybody. So let's see why the wheel is here in reverse in your position of work. Or all right, so you got the Empress. So you're. In your uh, work situation, you could be trying to get a new project off the ground. You could be trying to new ideas. You could be wanting to um, own your own company. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands, beautiful. But um, right, it's not it's not happening just yet. Uh, with that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, that doesn't mean it's not coming for you. It means it's not time yet um, to put a little more time into the planning, a little more time into like the research of it. Um, figuring out the, you know, X, Y, and Z, um, and not just stopping, you know, after the ABC, there's a, there's a lot more that needs to be put into this, um, to birth this idea, this creation. Um, but once you, um, do get to that point, the wheel will turn in the upright and it will, um, bring you in the opportunity to do this in whatever 
you're wanting to do. Some of you are wanting to change a career. Um, it's saying to hold up on that because it's, the energy is not favorable right now. The Ace of Swords just flipped. Um, so very much so, that's the truth. Um, your intuition is trying to guide you on this. Um, you're really rising from the ashes, though. You are coming up like the phoenix. Um, some of you have a wolf as a as an animal spirit. Um, it's going to be making its appearance. It's going to you're going to receive an omen about this uh, career path that you're wanting to do. You have a lot of inner conflict about well, for one, the competition for what you want to do. For two, whether or not you can fight whether or not you can keep fighting for your idea within within the job or starting a business or changing careers um but you are going to receive some communication it's coming in, in very quickly it could be via internet text messages something like that you are getting in some messages today about moving this forward giving you this whole new inspiration and this whole new excitement about this idea um and there is a good market for it is what I'm seeing. So just be patient. It's here for you. It's just not here for you yet. Okay. In your home life, you have the alchemist in reverse. Why is this here? Why is the magician in reverse here for Sagittarius today? And, okay. The king of wands in reverse. Ooey. With the alchemist in reverse, this is a... I just heard son of a bitch. Sorry about my language, but this person plays a lot of games. They play a lot of head games. The magician in reverse anyways is somebody who is a trickster, somebody who lies uh, and tries to trick people into believing things. Then you get the king of wands in reverse. That's somebody who acts before they think. Um, they have a, a temper. They like, you know, they just, they're a hothead. So you put that with a somebody who is trying to play mind games and then somebody who's pissed on top of it let's get another one for that why is the king of wands here in reverse why are they so upset because this could be your energy and you're upset about somebody who's trying to play mind games with you you feel that somebody up here is splitting their energy and you're tired of the games and you're the one that's pissed off so let's see why the king of wands is here for sagittarius thank you all right, we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Fool. Okay, so somebody, could be a Gemini or a Virgo, doesn't have to be, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody is trying to make you, like gaslighting you, trying to make you believe something that isn't true, trying to manipulate you, using your emotions against you, knowing you're a very highly charged, uh, like emotional person. You wear your heart on the, your sleeve and you don't regret anything. Um, and they're using that to kind of twist what's going on because with the six of pentacles being in your shared energy with the hierophant you also have the six of pentacles clarifying that so somebody you or them um within the home is tired of the lack of investment in this connection you feel like you're the only one nurturing it or your partner feels this but there is a clear imbalance of energy um and and nobody's speaking the truth everybody's keeping silent uh I do see you setting out on your own, though, Sagittarius, for a lot of you. Um, what's this truth that's not being spoken? What's this truth? Thank you. All right. The Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Wow. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, the truth isn't being spoken about um, the heartache, about the healing, about the sadness, about the the three of swords that you're trying to heal from with that truth with that ace of swords um about the sleepless nights about the worry the anxiety the depression um a lot of swords here so you could be dealing with a gemini labor aquarius um or it's just a lot of thinking today sagittarius a lot of thinking all right in the unexpected you have the knight of swords somebody's coming forward taking action this could be a lawyer um, because it oftentimes represents a lawyer or a judge. Um, and then you have it with the, the justice card. So either you're making the decision and nobody expected it or your person is to settle this in like a court system, like a divorce. Somebody's getting a lawyer um, to fight for what they deserve is theirs. To fight for what was built in this connection that the other person isn't necessarily wanting to share. 
um, and it's really stressing you out. But um, with the action, the unknown um, being the King of Swords with Justice and Nine of Wands, somebody is deciding to fight um, to uh, to remove themselves from this situation. Yeah, because this is purging out. Wow, guys, wow. Okay, so your energy, Sagittarius, is your prayers have been heard. There's something, however, you're not seeing. There's one cup missing still from that Ten of Cups, and it's behind his back. Uh, this could be the trickster who's hiding that one cup, but um, the divine is at your back. They see what's going on. They see all, know all, hear all, you know, um, and it's going to bring you in exactly what you are asking for. However, it may not be exactly what you thought it would look like. Um, you're really just asking for relief, for healing from this um, situation that brought you a lot of sadness. Um, and for some of you, you're, you're praying um, that you can get through this transformation, um, that this will move quickly. You could be praying for a Scorpio to come into your life. You could be praying for another Sagittarius. We got Taurus, Libra, um, Taurus again, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Those are my major arcanas, but we have every sign here. So your position in this is your, your wishes are going to come true. Your prayers are going to be answered. Um, you're going to go through this situation you're going to release the past you're going to purge the past be cautious i'm picking up black magic with this card for some reason so some of you are um breaking out of a like breaking like a a bond or something that someone could have placed on you um yeah but you're receiving healing from the universe um you see this person is receiving that uh dropper of healing and then the other person seems to be like being tortured you know like it looks like they're you know um so one of you has awakened before the other that one is receiving the enlightenment the healing from the divine which for the majority of you Sagittarius that's you um and then your person that you're connected with is the one that's down in the melting pot boiling in the pot um once you receive your healing your enlightenment then you can then pass it on to them but you're a little bit um you're a little bit ahead of the game uh, with your partner. All right. So, um, yeah, there could be a water sign female, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Once again, we have Scorpio here. Um, they're not so sure that they want to trust you or that you want to trust them. Look at how she has her hand over her cup, protecting her feelings. I've been here before, and it's... It was a shit show and it hurt and it hurt really bad. I've done what I had to do to heal. I've done what I could do to purge out this energy and heal these swords in my back. Um, and you're just wishing and praying for happiness, fulfillment. Um, and you're not so quick to give out your cup this time, Sagittarius. Could be giving your cup out, like I said, to a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um but your outcome of the day is stability. It is finding um, faith in something that you can build with somebody else. Um, if there's nobody else, it's you finding the stability within your own self to know you're going to be okay. That feeling of being secure. Um, wow, look at that. It's <laughs> that is so awesome. Um, with the King of Cups clarifying that, your perfect vibrational match. Um, somebody who has a lot of feelings is coming forward um, to talk to you, to offer you some kind of stability, to offer you some kind of <coughs> commitment. Um, <clears throat> I do feel for a lot of you, this is somebody new. Uh, but, I mean, look at this. This is a perfect vibrational match both having a lot of feelings for each other. Um, this is somebody who does not express their feelings well, so be patient with them. Yeah, this this change is coming. For some of you, you could have tried to stop this change or the your person you were dealing with was trying to keep um, things from flowing, from moving. 
But look at the waterfall behind her, going with having her feet in there. He has his feet in there. Learning to go with the flow and realizing that when you get in that river of life, when you allow the energy to flow around you instead of trying to swim upstream, it brings you to where you need to be so much quicker as well as bringing you constant healing with that, with going with the flow. Um, and you are moving into a new path. You are moving into one of the happiest cycles in your life to this point. Um, with the sun card, um, also going against the grain and, and following your heart, doing what you feel you are meant to do, releasing something that's been very heavy on your mind, releasing something that's been very heavy on your heart so you can allow that love to come back in, love for self, love for another. Um, but no matter what it is, it's bringing stability and it's bringing you happiness and to a point where you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, for some of you, you've been single for a while and you are starting to wonder if you were ever going to meet somebody. There is this king or queen of cups coming in for you guys. This is part of your destined path. Um, with that empress also, uh, within your career, you could be debating whether to make a move right now. With the energies the way they are, I would um, really think through um, making any big uh, changes right now. Um, for, you know, until the we get at least through the weekend and, you know, like I would say until the full moon. Um, I would be cautious about your choices and careers. I'm making complete changes. That's like flipping from, you know, one complete uh, opposite to the other with as far as what you do for a living. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. If you want to join me for an extended reading where we're going to look a little bit deeper, um, join me on the Vimeo side. If not, thank you so much for joining me here for um, clicking on this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Drop me a like if you would, and I send you all love and light. God bless.